welcome to Drill America Tool School. This presentation will describe basic information regarding drill bits. For more information about our products and product video demonstrations, please visit our website, www.drillamerica.net. Features of a drill bit. Drill bits are categorized by many different features. They include the size, also called the diameter, the flute length, also called the cutting length, the overall length, the point type and the point angle, the shank type and shank size, the material the drill bit was made of. The way a drill bit is categorized and the functionality of the drill bit is dependent on these features. As you can see in the image in front of you, these are the locations of the different drill bit features. The shank is located on the non-cutting end of the drill bit. It is the part of the drill bit that is held in the machine. The flute length is described as the part of the drill that can cut material. The overall length describes the entire length of the drill bit. The diameter, also called the size, describes the size of the hole the drill bit will make. Drill bits are available in different lengths to fill a customer's needs. Jobber length, the most commonly sold drill bit in our catalog, is the standard length drill bit. Mechanics length drills are slightly shorter than jobber's length drill bits. Stub length drill bits, also called screw machine drill bits, are short length drill bits. Aircraft extension drill bits come in either 6 inch or 12 inch long, but have the same flute length as a jobber length drill bit. Taper length drill bits are longer than jobber drill bits and have a longer flute length. Extra length drill bits, also called long boys, come in 8 inches, 12 inches, 18 inches, or 24 inches long. They have extra long flute and overall length. The drill bit point type determines how the drill bit will function when it is in use. Most drill bits come with a 118 degree point, which is called a conventional point. Some of our more heavy duty drill bits come with a 135 degree point, which is called a split point. This point prevents the drill from moving, also called walking during use. The shank is located on the non-cutting end of the drill bit. It is the part of the drill bit that is held in the machine. There are many types of drill bit shanks. The most common are round, also called straight shank, three flat, taper shank, threaded shank, and SDS plus. Some drill bits may have a reduced shank enabling greater size flexibility. Reduced shank drill bits can have a one quarter inch, three eight inch, one half inch, or a three quarter inch shank. Here are some pictures of the different shanks. The round shank is the most common shank and is available with most of our drill bits. The three flat shank comes with some reduced shank drill bits and mechanics length drills. They allow for a tighter hold on the chuck. Reduced shank drill bits enable greater size flexibility. For example, a customer may need a one inch drill bit, but may only be able to hold a one half inch drill bit with their machine. A one inch drill bit with a half inch reduced shank would do the trick. A taper shank is also used for greater size flexibility. However, they can only be used on specialty machines. Threaded shank drill bits have a one quarter 28 shank and are for use in aircraft applications. SDS plus shank must be held by an SDS plus chuck and is used in masonry. The drill bit material determines what application the drill bit will work for. High speed steel drill bits are the most common drill bits we have. They are for general purpose use. Cobalt drill bits are extra hard and are for use in extra hard materials such as stainless steel. Solid carbide and carbide tip drills are for non-ferrous materials. Masonry drill bits, which are also carbide tipped, are for use only in brick, 
concrete, and other masonry applications. Please keep these FAQs for your records if you have any other questions about Drill America drill bits. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.